It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking facts about linear functions. Here's our math question today. We have a two-part math question, and here's part A. A student graphed an equation of this form on a coordinate plane, y equals mx plus b. Which of the following statements about the graph is not true? And we're given four different answer choices. So here's where you pause the video, make your answer choice, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. We are looking for what is not true, which statement about this equation. So when we look at that form of the equation, that is slope intercept form. Understanding that the slope is the coefficient to x, the intercept is plus b, or could be subtract b, but that b constant that value is our y-intercept. That is where the intercept of the y-axis, where this line is going to cross the y-axis. So let's go to our answer choices. Choice A, the graph is a straight line. Well, if it's in slope-intercept form, that represents a line. So therefore, check. But again, we're looking for what is not true. So all graphs in this form are of a straight line. The slope of the graph is m. So we verified the slope is m, our coefficient of x, so that is also true. Now we can see that our next two choices are where the graph crosses. It says the graph crosses at the x-axis, and this choice D says crosses at the y-axis. So we can see that b, or our point 0b, is the intercept where it crosses the y-axis, and that is true, so therefore answer choice C is the answer that is not true. The graph crosses the x-axis at 0b. That is incorrect. This is the y-intercept when written in slope-intercept form. Here's part b. We're asked which of the following equations are linear functions, and we're going to select the two linear equations. So you have five answer choices here to look at, and we're picking two of them that represent linear equations. So once again, pause the video now, Make your two answer choices and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we're talking linear functions and we want to know which two are linear functions. And a linear function is also an equation. We're looking at them. If we can say that it's written in slope intercept form, which we reviewed in part A, then it is a linear function understanding that the exponent of our variable x must be 1. That's what makes it linear, one-dimensional. So we're going to go look at our equations that are all y equals something with an x, so we're looking to determine which have an exponent of 1 for the x. So I can already see that this is y equals x squared, that variable's exponent is not 1, it's 2, so this you'll learn about in high school is a quadratic function, so this is not linear. b, y equals negative x. We do have an invisible one here, so b is a linear function. Looking at c, y equals negative 2 over x. Well, x cannot be in the denominator. x needs to be in the numerator, and when we look at this, you'll learn in high school as well that the exponent of this x is actually negative 1. So when it moves down to the denominator, the exponent becomes positive. So C is not a choice. D, Y equals negative 3X. We have an invisible 1 here, so that exponents of X is 1. So that is a linear function or a linear equation. And let's look at E, just to make sure. Y equals 3 times the square root of X. Well, square root is an exponent of 1 half. So therefore, the exponent of x is 1 half, not 1, ruling out answer choice E. So therefore, the correct two answers are answers B, y equals negative x, and D, y equals negative 3x. So there you have facts about linear functions. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon.